specialty. Well, insisted. But what do they know, these St. John's Ambulance people? Half the audience thought they were part of the pantomime running down the aisle in their stupid costumes. It was a tiny bruise. Maybe just hand the sweets out from now on. You see, that's what Marcus said. He's a useless director. You said you liked him. Yeah, but my character wouldn't do that. He'd throw the sweets. He's a pirate. There's aggression there. This is someone who's spent his whole life at sea. Right. And Marcus wants to undermine all that. It was the same with the crocodile. Must be very frustrating. Well, you know what it's like. You've got enough clients doing pantomime. Yes, I have. Though none of them seems to agonise over it quite as much as you do. Well, it's because they're not proper actors, are they? Card from Liz and Stuart. Oh, damn. Must send them one. What's the point? I haven't seen them for years. I haven't missed them. Don't care how they are. Happy Christmas. So, has Sam decided what she's going to be doing on Christmas Day yet? Yeah, she's going to Ben's. Be strange. Christmas Day, just the two of us. Oh, be nice. Be like old times, yeah? <laughs> just you and me. Oh, bloody hell. Mandy. Who else? Oh. And she signed it for my cat. Oh, hi, Magda. You're looking very Christmassy. Is something the matter? Yes. My president is dead. Oh, yes, of course. I heard on the radio. Oh, well. At least he won't have to face the war crimes trial now. Or the firing squad, for that matter. He was a very good man. I don't think so. Not if he reads... This is not true. Well, the Baltic butcher. This is lies. Well, you don't get a nickname like that for your lamb chops. Was not Baltic. Was from small town. Well, that's hardly the so, point. Magda, uh, when's your mother arriving? You must be looking forward to it. She is not coming. There is National Week of Mourning. Will you be joining in? Yes. I am in mourning now. Oh, sorry. I, so I, I didn't realise... I wish you'd put that down. Just getting into the mindset of the reader. It's you. I see the magazine's aimed at. Juvenile tit fanatics who don't have the courage to buy real porn. Once again, you underestimate me. So what are we supposed to be writing for them? Like I say, predictions. They want a list of funny things that are going to happen in the new year. How come they asked you? Because they need names like mine on the front cover to sell it. Yeah, sure they do. To be honest, I could do without it on my day off. Ah, yes. Poor you. Must be so demanding. It is. Night after night, being booed. It's not just about being... And now the pantomime. Yeah, well, it's pointless trying to explain pantomime to you. You're never going to understand the genre because you're an American. And an adult. It's postmodern irony. irony. I know. Hey, Sam. Hiya. Hi, Dad. Hi. So, been to see your dad's panto yet? No, it's not really my thing. No, me neither. So what are you gonna do for Christmas? Uh, I think I'm gonna go around to Ben's house because his mum's out of town, so... You're gonna do turkey, the whole deal? Uh, no, I'll probably just, like, phone out for a pizza, I think. Do you think it's gonna be open on Christmas Day? Oh, yeah. Well, I suppose we get Chinese in. Hmm. Uh, so what about you? Well, I'm getting out of here. I'm not a Christmas person, so I get on a plane and head for the sun. Cool. Ideally, some Arab state where carol singing is punishable by death. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad... You know my Christmas present? Yeah. Well, uh, you know how usually I get money? Yeah. Well, do you think um, maybe I could open my Christmas present now? No. No, you'll have to wait. Sorry, nice try. Fair enough, I just thought I'd ask. Did you get a present for Ben? Uh, no, not really. Just um, thought I'd make him some mince pies. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go. It's quite sweet, <laughs> making mince pies. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll find they have a special ingredient. It was Mel's idea. Okay. Well, we spent a lot of money on the house this year. She said, don't buy me anything expensive, so we're just going to get each other token presents. Yeah, right. What? No, you do that. You buy Mel a token present. What's this? Need some ideas for Christmas presents? No, Mel and I are getting each other token presents. It was her idea. Oh, that's so. a pity. Well, no, because it was actually Mel who Only said... personally, I think get... that Christmas is a time for generosity. Mm. Romantic surprises. Your chance to let that special person in your life know how much you care. Oh? Especially if it's a new relationship. Oh, dear. Michael, is there something we ought to know? I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee? Please. 
Measure a run for Captain Hook. Oh, look, yeah, we, we have been into all that. I am not Captain Hook, I'm Mr. Smee, OK? Oh, yes, of course. It is actually a bigger part. Surely not. Well, I have 23 more lines than him, well, so I think it is. the lines, is it? Well, look, maybe you should come and see it, and then you'd know. No, uh, thanks. Coffee instead, then? <sighs> yeah, please. Aye, aye. He's happy. He met someone. Oh, good for him. Let's hope she buys him a straight jacket for Christmas. You think it's a bad idea, the token presents? Look, I know Mel. She's not going to get you a token present. She's going to end up buying you a home cinema system, and you're going to be left standing there watching her unwrap a bar of soap and a magazine. Wasn't going to buy her two token presents. There you go, coffees. And cookies. Yes, yes. Well, biscuits. Just a little flourish that someone suggested. <laughs> OK, Michael. Who is she? Well, I was trying to keep it secret, but since you ask, uh, her name's Zoe. Zoe? Go on. Yeah, so often when you meet someone after hooking up in a chat room, it all ends in tears, but uh, Zoe's different. We really hit it off. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, Michael. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm pleased for you. Thanks, I knew you would be. Yes, you know when it's right, and, uh, well, this is it. This is the one. Them's not jingle bells, Captain. Them's wedding bells. Yeah, I'm not Captain Hook. Why can't you be happy for him? Won't last. He's far too keen talking about marriage already. All right, so that's two things women hate. Generous presence and commitment. The Rick Spleen Guide to Relationships. You'll scare her off. She's met him. If that didn't scare her off... What the hell is that doing here? I, I don't know the nearest post office to this address. Anyway. Well, how are you spelling post office? Well, you know what? No, leave it. it it's fine, really. It, it, it's... Oh, my God. Did anyone see the postman? No. Nah. No. Nah. He's left his trolley in the front garden. Relax, he'll be back for it. No, he won't. It's mine. The trolley's yours? Yeah, I got sort of a Christmas round. Why did you say no when I just asked? Because you asked me if I'd seen the postman. And I didn't. Oh, and I said no because I knew that Ben was a postman, but I didn't know that it was his trolley. Yeah. How about you, Magda? How much did you know? I did not know yeah, Ben was right. a postman, and I did yeah, not know... Yeah, all right. Well, at least you got a job. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's only casual, but... Mm. Ideal. Mm. Mm. And you finish early, which is a plus? Mm, no, I haven't really finished. Just taking a breather. Oh. Yeah, you had to pull the trolley the whole way up the hill. Oh, God. I know, they should give me a van, really. Except you can't drive. That's a good point. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Dad, so anyway, um... I'm not going to be spending Christmas Day at Ben's after all. Yeah, my mum's decided not to go away, so I thought, you know, I'd just come round here and chill. Ah, uh, I don't know if that's going to uh, be... No, right. I rang mum and she said it was fine. Yes, please. Well, as long as it's just the two of you, I don't want Spikey coming over or anything. No, no, not if you don't want. No, I don't want. Oh, but that means Spikey will be on his own for Christmas. That would be the plan, yeah. He's not the only one alone. What's up with her? The president thingy died, heart attack. Oh, the Baltic butcher. Yeah, but please don't say that. She's officially in mourning. How can you tell? I already cracked that one. Good job. Is that tree losing its needles? Oh, they always do that the first couple of days when they settle down. This is central heating. God, why does my mother have to send me a hamper every year? Oh, you shouldn't be opening that now. Wait till Christmas Day. It'll be a nice surprise. Last year's had a Toblerone in it. She knows very well I need choked to death on a bit of that when I was seven. I mean, what kind of message does that send? Maybe she didn't realise it was in there. You know, well, that's precisely my point. She has no idea what she's given me for Christmas. Just a box load of tat that'll end up in the back of the cupboard. It's like winning the tombola at an old people's home. I mean, look at that. Candied peel. Oh, I like candied peel. No, you don't. It has no use. They can't sell it in the shop, so they stick it in all the hampers, get rid of it that way. What do you suggest for a Christmas hamper? They're hardly going to fill it with washing up liquid and toilet roll. No, no, we're stuck with it now. Unless we can give it away to someone else for a present. Who do we really dislike? Look, cashew nuts. You like them? <sighs> Not really, I don't. I'd rather have pistachios or Brazil. You know, you can't get Brazil nuts anymore. Of course you can. Not on their shelves. I don't sell them, I've looked. And why do they have to be in their shelves? Well, so you can crack them. Oh, crack other nuts. Oh, it's not the same. Hiya. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi. What are you doing? He's opening his present from Gran. But you said I couldn't open mine till Christmas. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's a bit different. Why is it different? Well, because I know what this is. Yeah, yeah but I know that you're oh, giving sorry. me money, though. Yeah, but this is perishables and it won't last. Yeah, but money won't last. Oh, OK. 
Yeah. Is that true, all right? Do you want me to come down? Yeah, it's just settling down. It's the centre of heating. Yeah, of course Maybe you should water it. Yeah, I have watered it. Well, it seems to be no, losing no, its needles. They always do that. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's acclimatising. Let me know, won't you? Bye. What's that? Danny Watson. You know who Danny Watson is. He does a Saturday morning madhouse. Oh, God, him. He's been arrested. What's he done? He was in a fight in a transvestite club. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. What happened? Did someone turn up in the same dress? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, sorry, were you listening to that? Doesn't matter. He's still in mourning, then? Yeah. Yes, until after funeral. Yeah. When is that? Is Day that after soon? tomorrow. Oh, good. And then all the mourning will be over, will it? Yes. Because... But Mother will be sad for a long time, I think. Oh, dear. Can you get Brazil nuts in your country? Seen this? <laughs> Hilarious. It's better than that. It's one of Mel's clients. No kidding. <laughs> so what happened? He got into a fight. Probably someone turned up wearing the same dress as him. See? <laughs> you can be funny. Can we get on with these predictions? I've got to be at work later. Oh, yes. Peter Pan awaits, along with a half-full theater. Now you wait till word of mouth gets round. OK. OK, predictions. I predict your tree will lose all its needles by Christmas. Oh, God, don't you start. What's the matter with it? Nothing. It's settling in. You should have got one of those non-drop ones. It is non-drop. I specifically asked. Where'd you get it? From that guy by the tube station. The guy with the neck tattoos tried to sell you some speakers the other day? Yes, him. Funny, he seems so trustworthy. You watering it? Yeah, of course I'm watering it. It's the central heating. It grew up outside in the cold. That's what it's used to. Then you bring it inside, it can't cope. It's like Magda. I'm surprised her hair didn't fall out when she came to live here. Oh, God, it's Clive. What does he want? Oh. Hello, Rick. Sorry to bother you. Is it uh, convenient to have a word? Uh, not really. I'm in the middle of writing something, Only it is so... Rather important. Like I say, I am working you right You were just now. chatting a minute ago, weren't you? I don't think so. No, we weren't well, chatting. It looked to me like you were chatting. Well, we were chatting about work. That's what we do. So. <sighs> All right, what's it about? I think inside would be best. Uh, is it all right to talk in front of... Uh... Well, oh, yes, of course. Rick, it's about your pantomime. Oh, yeah, if you want tickets, I'm afraid it's sold out. No, 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 no. I don't want tickets. It's about my mother. What about her? She came to the panto the other night. Did she? There was an incident with a member of the audience. What, you mean it was your...? Yes, it was my mother. You hit her in the face with a bag of sweets. It was an accident. She was badly shaken up. They were just jelly tots. She's got a nasty bruise near her eye. Oh, sorry about that. Look, if, if you'd like free tickets, <sighs> I can get you... She doesn't want to go again. I mean, what were you thinking of? You could have somebody's eye out with a prank like well, It wasn't that. a prank, it was part of the show. Well, it's a dangerous part of the show. As I said when I contacted the theatre manager. Oh. From what I hear, you were out of control. No, I wasn't out of control. I'm a pirate. Well, that's no excuse for injuring an 83-year-old woman. I was in character. I think what Rick's trying to say is that it was in the context of the show, and he was doing it, you know, like a pirate. Pirate. It was an accident. Mm. Yeah, and I think my point is, um... Marty. Marty, that it mustn't happen again. So, what you need to do is this. Wrap the sweets in something soft. Like so. That's a neat idea. So any impact, accidental or otherwise, will be cautioned. Now, you mustn't just hurl it straight at the audience. I didn't. Well, according to the theatre manager, you did. So, can I suggest that you toss the foam wrap sweets in an upward trajectory so that they land gently amongst the audience? Will do. And do you mind just showing me just how you'd be doing that? Well, no, I... <laughs> Shall I be the audience? If you would, Marty. Thanks, Marty. You're welcome. Do you want me to... Excellent. Much less dangerous and just as much fun. 
Thanks, Clive. You're very welcome, Marty. Good. Well, if there's anything else I can do for you? Maybe muzzle the crocodile? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to help. The least you can do is pay me the courtesy of not being sarcastic. OK. I'm sorry. Fine. Well, we'll leave it at that, then. Oh, by the way, your uh, tree's losing its needles. Yes, I know. Really, you should water it. Oh, I have. Yeah. I always get one of those uh, non-drop types. Never a problem. That's another good idea. Nuts? Me? Yes. Do you know anyone who supplies nuts? Um... I'm trying to get Brazil nuts in their shells. Oh, Brazil nuts! Now, I seem to remember they were banned a couple of years ago. See? Shells got some kind of poison. Potentially lethal. No, it isn't. When did you ever hear of anyone being harmed by Brazil nuts? You, you can buy cigarettes and carving knives and Rottweilers, but you can't get Brazil nuts in their shells. It's pathetic, isn't it? I can't say I'm really bothered, to be honest. Oh, have you seen the tree? Zoe did it. Very nice. She's brilliant. She said, I'll do the tree for you and look. She's such a natural, so creative. Marty, you'd really get on with her. Looking forward to meeting her. You want to watch the needles don't drop? <laughs> As if. That doesn't happen anymore. Not if you get the right sort. Exactly. So, you and Zoe have any plans for Christmas? Oh, yes. Yes. Christmas Eve, she's coming over to my place. Light the fire. Nice bottle of wine. I'm getting the picture. Cook something special, maybe... Snuggle up, watch a movie, and then... Crazy or what? For every tear cried in shame There'll be someone else to blame And every crime that I commit There'll be a punishment to fear But I'd accept what's coming round If I could only lose this sound That's been ringing in my ears And tormenting me for years When it's done And all this is gone Good show. So funny, you won't believe what I did. Go on. You know Captain Hook? Mm -hmm. You know the big speech he does on the ship? Can't say I remember it. Yes, you do. Just before the crocodile starts the chorus. <laughs> anyway, he has to down a tank at a rum in one go. Obviously, it's Ribena. <laughs> you know, guess what I did? You didn't. I spiked it with vodka. <laughs> you should have seen his face. That's a terrible trick to play. It's really funny. What if he's driving? Nah, he gets a car. I said, I don't know why he gets a car. You know, Smee is actually a bigger part. Do you know, I get 20... 23 more lines, you told me. Did I? Yeah. But anyway, cast thought it was hilarious, most of them. Good. Oh, um, just so you know, I was talking to Magda today and the subject of Christmas Day came up. Oh, no. Well, what could I do? She's going to be on her own. I was really looking forward to Christmas, just the two of us. Now Magda's coming and Ben... It's like running a drop-in centre. He can still enjoy it. <sighs> no, he can't. That's that, isn't it? Christmas is ruined. <sighs> I mean, look at that tree. It's like a television aerial. That bastard said it was non-drop. Oh, come on. Some people are having a worse Christmas. Well, I'd like to know who. Danny Watson. Oh, yeah, how's Danny? Not good. Looks like he might be spending Christmas in prison. God. I hope you told her not to wear the dress. See, they had the funeral yesterday. Your president. It was very sad, though. Yeah, I saw it on the news. Yeah. Shame about the riots, I thought. It was some bad people. Was it? So, have you finished with all the mourning now? Of course. I'm looking forward to Christmas. But you're still coming here, then? Yes, thank you. But why is a tree like this? There's nothing left. <sighs> Yeah, I know. Still, only one more day to go and then it'll all be over anyway. So. Mm. Look like a tree from my town when power station have blown up. All trees for many miles look like this. No, yeah, well, at least didn't pay 20 quid for it. Yeah. I must empty Hoover mm -hmm. and tomorrow I will bring fish for lunch. Uh, no, no, no need. 
All the food's taken care of. But it's tradition at home. We must have carp. Ah, well, not here we mustn't. Yes, we keep him in the bath until Christmas Eve and then... Well, that sounds lovely. But you see, over here we have turkey with stuffing and roast potatoes, sprouts, cranberry sprouts. sauce. And, yeah, little round vegetables, green. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, peas. No, not peas. If I meant peas, I would have said peas. OK, so you don't want me to bring fish? Ah, uh, on the whole, I think definitely not. OK, I will just bring shoe. What? For sweets. You put sweets and shoe. It's really nice. Yeah, fine. Bring a shoe. All right. All right. Hello. Hi, Hi Sam. Ben. So, you finished early? Uh, yeah, I finished a couple of days ago, actually. What, well, so there's no more work for you? They sort of told Ben to leave. Yeah. What, so you're fired? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, you know, it was all a bit weird. Well, what happened? Well, basically, I just kept getting more and more stuff to deliver every day. Yeah, oh. it was just getting ridiculous. Yes. I said to the manager, look, you need to sort this out. We need some extra staff, right? Yeah. What did he say? Well, he, like, just turned on Ben <laughs> yeah? and said, you are the extra effing staff. Now, effing well, get on with it. Oh, that's not very Christmassy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so the next day it gets to about five o'clock. Yeah, and he's still got all this stuff to deliver. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's only Christmas cards, you know, nothing important. No, just Christmas cards. I thought, well, <laughs> I'm never going to get all this done, so I just thought... Chuck them in a skit? No, Dad, no. I wouldn't do that. No. Canal? No, I just thought I'd post them. What do you mean? Well, just shove them in a post box, you know, then go round again. Yeah, they'll still get there. Yeah, same difference. Mm. Yeah. Only then they found out, because all this mail came back, they'd already been stamped. And they noticed? Well, I mean, that's when it all kicked off, you see. So, you were sacked? I don't know, really. He just said, F off, you effing lazy, effing C word. I'd say that was pretty much sacked. <laughs> What's wrong with your tree? There you go. 30 hilarious predictions for the readers of Crack Magazine to ignore. We're done. Last gag of the year. Well, your last gag was in October. Uh-huh. You want to get some lunch? I got to catch that flight. That hotel pool's beckoning. Uh, coming up a sandwich. I got to tell you what I did to Captain Hook. Let me guess. You uh, glued his sword in so he couldn't get it out? Ah, funnier than that. Filled his pipe with flour? How did you know? I know how your mind works. Which reminds me, before I forget, just a token present. Where do you find them? Contacts. It's best you don't know. Ah, oh, thanks, Marty. Let's make my Christmas. You're very sad. I didn't get you anything. Where is he? Probably out the back making a wedding cake. You kidding? Probably booking the honeymoon and choosing nursery furniture. <laughs> Show me what you got, Mel. You want to see it? Yep. OK. Oh. Nice, huh? Very nice indeed. Should be. Cost enough. Trust me, you're doing the right thing. You can never be too romantic. Look at Michael. So he's left me. It's all over between us. What can I get you? Oh, Michael. I'm so sorry, man. I found out this morning. Hadn't heard from her for a couple of days. Just assumed she was busy with work. Tried calling up. Eventually, she picked up the phone. Said she'd written me a long letter explaining, but I haven't received it. I haven't received any post, actually. No, I think she felt it was all moving a bit too fast for her. Such a shame. Yeah. Maybe it got posted again or something. What? Sorry, no, I was just thinking what could have happened to the letter. Well, that's hardly the point, is it? No. Still, life goes on. What you got in the box? Oh, that, no, that's just, that's just nothing. Else. Well, no, let's have a butcher's. Ah. Uh, it is, uh, just, uh, just a... For Mel? Yeah, I... That's, that's beautiful. You're very lucky. Yeah, uh, I know. Although, it's not just luck. I mean, you do have to work at relationships. Rick. No, 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 he's right. Although, obviously, that's something Zoe has yet to learn. So, will you be all right tomorrow? 
Hmm? You're not going to spend Christmas Day on your own, are you? On my own? Oh, God, no. No, there's a couple of mates in the same boat, and we're going to meet up, find a pub, you know, generally celebrate bachelor life. <laughs> That'll be great. Hmm. Oh, good. That's all right, then. Can I have the mushroom risotto, please? Yeah. So you're alone again you're Talking is just nice And won't lay me down Only get closer To the point Where I can take no more Won't you Be the new one burn to shine I take the blue ones Every time Walk me down your broken line All you have to do is cry Yes, all you have to do is cry Oh, hi! How was the show? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> what? Why are you still in costume? Oh, I thought I'd get changed at home. Save time, really. What's happened? Nothing. What have you been cooking? Oh, that's Sam making some mince pies. Oh, for Ben? Yeah. Uh. So come on, what's with the costume? Oh, it's Captain Hook. I don't like sharing a dressing room with him. There's a bit of an atmosphere. Mm, this wouldn't be anything to do with you playing tricks on him. I just glued his sword so he couldn't get it out. It made it funnier. The audience thought it was hysterical. You want to watch yourself. No, he's all right. He's just a bit arsy. Someone told me he's an ex-alcoholic. He's back on the bottle. Big time. No willpower. Anyway, what you got here? Huh? A few bits I'm wrapping. No looking. I just want Oi, to see. Oi, head off. It'll be quite fun tomorrow. Mm. You got a present for Magda? Mm, thought I did. I got her some perfume. Yeah, why not? She's probably wrapping up a carp for us even as we speak. I hope not. That's what I got you. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, well, might as well get out of this lot. Oh, do you have to? What is this, uh... I am joking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there we are, everybody. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Oh, I won't, thanks, Magda. I'm fine, thanks. Rick. Mm. Uh, I'm OK, thanks, mate. Mm. Cheers. Oh, you pig. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I've got the munchies. How many of those mince pies have you had? Swarm. You see, Magda, now you see that is a sprout. The, the sprout. Mm. Sprout. <laughs> oh, Rick, mm? we've run out of milk. I can get. Oh, would you, Magda? Thanks. No, you're a guest. You relax. Rick, hurry before the shop shuts. Well, it won't be open. Yes, it's open till 12 today. <sighs> OK, I'll, I'll go. See, why couldn't that hamper have had milk in it? Something you actually need instead of macaroons and jars of crystallised nose pickings. <laughs> 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 macaroons. <laughs> Stripes. Um, stripy pony. <laughs> uh, <laughs> almost. Oh, sort of. it's like the things you get on the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, dead fox. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Fox. Guess who's here? Fox. Michael! Oh, <laughs> Sorry to gate crash. <laughs> I bumped into Rick by chance and he wouldn't take no for an answer. What a nice surprise. Oh, Happy Christmas. Get you a drink. You sure this is OK? Um, of course. Oh, Rick no doubt told you I've had a bit Bidger. of a setback on the girlfriend Bidger. front. And, uh, I'm so sorry. Come on, let's sit down. Crossing, crossing. Michael, Michael, would you like to be a kettle? Uh, no. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you did? Im zebra, im zebra. Hooray! Im zebra. And eventually have children together, but... Uh, it wasn't to be. Zoe obviously had other ideas. Sorry. Yes. 
So now we've gone our separate ways. And all I'm left with is a, a rather beautiful engagement ring. But you can take back to shop. Well, yes, yes. When I can face it, I might. Anyway, enough of my woes. What did you two get each other for Christmas? Uh, Sam just made me some mince pies. Oh, home baking, can't beat it. Is that them? Can I have a look? Uh, uh they're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. I am in the business. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bother, really, don't Oh, you? they look delicious. May I, Ben? Uh. Oh, no, they're really very, very good. Mmm, what's the spice? It's just my own recipe. Oh, what is it? Don't tell me. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. He was just sitting there. All on his own? Yeah, so I went back and invited him. I'm sorry. No, don't be. It was a really lovely thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I know, but so much for a nice, quiet Christmas together. <laughs> oh, uh, Sam, can you get that, please? Okay. If that's spiky, we are not inviting him for Christmas dinner. Oh, come on. One more won't make any difference. Is that not having Michael here? I don't want some drugged-up lunatic at the table. How about those airlines, huh? Who wants some relief to see you? <laughs> they overbooked my flight. How hard is it to know how many seats you have on your plane? <laughs> so I was hanging around Heathrow for 48 hours or go visit my best friends. Oh. They weren't in, so I came around here. <laughs> see what I did there? With the... yeah. uh, before you go in, there's something you ought to know. Michael's here. Michael? No kidding. I found him sitting on a bench all on his own. So he invited him back. Rick did that. Mm -hmm. Have you checked his temperature? <laughs> Why is that so strange? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, should we join them? Are you OK? Hmm? Oh, yeah, fine. Um, I don't suppose you've got any more of those mince pies, have you? Uh, no, I think they've all gone, I'm afraid. Hey, everyone. Look who's here. Hello. Hey, Marty. <laughs> hey, Happy Christmas. So it is. Now that I've seen you, Magda. Michael, nice surprise. Hello. Yeah, so I was supposed to fly out last night, but it didn't happen. So, these are my friends. So it would seem. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Hey, nice bracelet. I know, Rick gave me it. He's very naughty. We agreed token presents this year. <laughs> so, what'd she get you? Uh, this game. It's great. <laughs> A lot of fun. Thanks for that tip. So, uh, Marty, uh, what are you going to do? You're going to get your money back or what? No, they got me on a flight day after tomorrow, so at least I'll be there for New Year. Come to my cafe for New Year. I want you all to come to my cafe, and I mean everyone. Because you know what? I love New Year, and I love all of you. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with him? He's had a couple of drinks. The main thing is, you've made his Christmas. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> See? I told you we'd have a lovely time. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> okay. Look, it's an elf. Oh, God. <laughs> what does he want? Hello, Rick. Happy Christmas. Ah, uh, yeah, look, if this is another complaint, he's really no, no, going to no. have to wait. Quite the opposite, actually. Uh, my mother's having a bit of a rest, so I thought I'd pop round with this. Bit of a peace offering. <laughs> Candied peel. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Yes, I thought I might have been a bit harsh with you the other day. Wanted you to know there were no hard feelings. It is Christmas, after all. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. She's, uh, she's feeling a lot better. You'll be glad to hear. My mother? Oh, good. Good. Huh. Well, happy Christmas. Sounds like you've got a full house in there. Yeah, we're, we're just having a quiet one ourselves, me and my mother. Well, as I say, she's, uh, she, she's sleeping at the moment, um, so... Uh, Uh, everyone, uh, Clive is here. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, hi, Marty. Hey. Oh, Michael, do, do you know Clive? His mother, Doris, lives across the road. Uh, Clive, this is Michael. Pleased to meet you. Would you like some fizzy wine? Champagne. Oh, thanking you. <laughs> well, this is all very nice, I must say. Oh, a bit like being at a wedding, isn't it? You bride or groom? <laughs> what? You know, 
Why mention weddings? Yeah. Why bring that into it? Uh, Clive, how's your mother? Is, is she recovered? Oh, yes, she has, thanks. Almost fully. Because it, it was only a tiny bruise, wasn't it? Well... What's this? Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> no, it isn't. Not really. Uh, Rick threw a packet of sweets at my mother. Hit her in the face. Uh, no, I didn't throw it at her. Remember? She was badly <laughs> bruised. Uh, oh, let, let's not get into all that again. What sort of sweets? Yeah, well, that hardly matters. <laughs> jelly tots. <laughs> jelly tots. It wasn't funny. What is jelly tots? Uh, well, they're just very tiny, soft sweets. Yeah, but the corner of the packet's actually quite sharp. It's still only sweets, though, isn't it? It's not like I threw a chisel at her. You don't seem very remorseful. Oh, well, look, if you've just come over here to have another go at me, now. then Look, really, I think I'd better yeah. just leave you to it and uh, oh, no. go and check on my mother. Clive, don't go. Yeah, why don't you do that? Sorry? What's it got to do with you? Go on, Mummy's boy. Michael. Run along. There's no need to be rude. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's very upset. His girlfriend's just dumped him. I mean, just what is your problem, Mr Jelly Tot? It's Clive, actually. And I think the question is, what's your problem? Oh, shut up. You come over here insulting my best friend. Michael, I think we should go get some fresh air. I'll be fine when he's gone. He wants a secure unit, he does. I'm not surprised your girlfriend left you. You need help. Just get out. While you're at it, why don't you take your stupid mother some nuts? <laughs>